Hi guys, it's H here. Today I want to tell you what works and doesn't work on my printer, what works well, and also about belt tilted printers that's been in the news lately. So let's get started on that. On my Facebook group, Bradley posted a, an article about White Knight. Um, White Knight brought out a, a tilted belt printer design. Um, so go and have a look at that or Google that. It looks like a very nice design. It looks a lot like the Black Belt 3D design. Very solid. So the White Knight belt is a stainless steel shim with bolt tech um, stuck around to keep the belt together and as, well, as the bolt surface. So that looks very promising. The other news that Bradley posted is that Black Belt 3D has posted their design on open shape I think so they've also made their design open source now and that's obviously a very nice tester design so you can have a look at that and you get a chance. I'll just tell you about a few things that's working well on my printer and what's not. So the first thing that's, that I think is very important and that I battled with initially is the stepper motor on the belt drive. So since William Bull, Bull Steel suggested I use a stepper motor with a gearbox, I haven't had any problems. So it's definitely worth getting a stepper motor with a gearbox in it and you need a lot of torque to turn the belt. So it's, it's worthwhile getting the more expensive stepper motor with the built-in gearbox. The other thing that's working well is the stainless steel um, lasts quite well. I've been printing quite a, a few test pieces. Um, the stainless steel has kept on tape over it. The stainless steel with kept on tape surface works well. I've also put a glue stick on the over the kept on tape and I hardly ever use the heat bed. Actually, that's the one thing that, that's a bit not so great on the printer. The, when I switch on the heat bed, the stainless steel, because my, my bed is much wider than my heat, heat pad, which is the normal 200 by 200 pad, the outside of the belt, in this direction, the outer sides, are actually cooler than the inside, and that makes the, the belt buckle because the, in, the inside is heating up, it expands and the outside is still cool. So your first layer uh, is very hard or to get down properly. It's just I, I hardly ever use it anymore. If you, your surface is covered in a glue stick or something like that, it just it works well. The other thing that, that I found is important is the, the roller, the roller height compared to the, uh, or in reference to the, the print surface height. If, if, the, if my roller is too low, it tends to make a bulge where it meets the glass and then the first layer becomes hard to print. So the, the, try and align the roller and the printing surface so that they almost level. If it's too high, obviously your your printed surface, the, the stainless steel won't lie on the glass and then you've got the problem with not having a, a rigid surface anymore. So it's a bit of a try and, try and get it exactly right. The one thing that I would change is the length of my, my printing surface. My glass is 300 millimeters long around 300, the, the uh, mirror that I'm using as my print surface. I would make it longer. So when I use, when I was trying to print these uh, airplane wings from 3D Print Lab, what happened was this was going along nicely, but when I got towards the end, it actually dropped a little bit on this side. Um, before it even got to the end of the bed, because my glass isn't flat all the way through, 
oh well the glass just ends over here it starts drooping and then this corner comes out badly so I would suggest making your your glass longer so that you have a long flat surface also it will help if the roller on my left side was actually also aligned with the with the bed which it isn't at the moment it looks like the belt printers are starting to really catch on um, there's the the white knight there's the black belt 3d maker garage has made one william um, Enriquez has made one as well so there are quite a few belt printers out in the wild now and with black belt cura it's now really easy to slice the your models and it's it's just not as hard as it, as it seems so go go out there make your your own belt printer there are now lots of open source free designs available and are fun thanks for watching